So there's uh, many other ways to combine masks. One thing I like to do is use what's called a gradient to create a gradient mask. And the idea is if I want to blend two things together at a certain point, the gradient tool is really helpful in doing that when I apply it to a mask. Now, sometimes when I use the gradient tool and I want to combine things, I already may have a mask applied. For example, here I have this rabbit that has a mask and I have a tiger that has a mask. Let's say I want to blend the two together. What I would do is actually group each one individually into a group. So I can hit Command G when I have one of the layers selected. So the rabbit is in its own group and I'll select the tiger and hit Command G and now the, the tiger is in its own group. And the thing about doing this is we can apply masks to the groups as well. What I can do is even though I already have a mask applied to the rabbit, I can create an additional mask to the group for the rabbit and that will mask that rabbit even, even further without having to change the original mask. So I can just select a group for the rabbit with the mask icon for the rabbit, do the same for the tiger. And so the objective here is to combine the tiger and the rabbit in some way. So if I select the mask thumbnail for the rabbit group, what I can do is go into the gradient tool. So I have a gradient tool here. G is the shortcut. If you can't find it, you might want to hit shift G a couple times. And typically I will pick a black and white gradient. So if you go into basics, you have this black and white gradient available. There's a folder here under presets and I can hit okay. Now with the toolbar on top, the first area represents the gradient. And then you have these icons next to that, which are different types of gradients. And the first icon is what's called a linear gradient. So if I have black and white, what I can do is I can drag a gradient in that thumbnail and depending on the direction that I grab, I can create this gradient here and now I blended a little bit of the rabbit into the tiger. And you can keep on dragging to adjust that a little bit if you need to adjust it. And so I have that rabbit slightly blended and what I can also do is I can turn off the gradient inside the group mask just to see just to go back and maybe toggle back and forth now maybe i want to apply a mask to the tiger so i will select the icon representing the mask for the tiger group and drag in the opposite direction and now it's nicely blended where the, the head of the rabbit meets the body of the tiger what you might have to do is then go into one of these masks and with a brush hit b for brush and maybe clean it up a little bit so I will swap the foreground white with the background black by hitting X and then paint out a little bit more. So just clean up the rabbit in a couple areas and then go into the tiger and do the same thing, clean up a little bit of the tiger. So now I have this tiger with a rabbit head and I'm using these two gradients with some additional brushwork in the group mask to help blend the two together. And so this is a good example where I'm using multiple masks and grouping just to come up with the composition I want.